kept us. Amen. I often think of the scripture that says it's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness. Because God is faithful, we can be faithful. Yes, yes. That's right. Bishop. Amen. And we can live off of his faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. And as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, if anyone has a particular uh, prayer request, um, you can let it be known at this time. Let us remember uh, Sister Gail, Elder Gail Mitchell, and let us remember Elder Arrington, Stephanie Arrington as well, and uh, all others that uh, come to your mind. Uh, Sister Denise, let us pray for her. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray for the body of Christ uh, and those that um, are holding up the bloodstained banner, as I say. Those that are standing tall and standing strong. Thank you, Lord. It's not easy, uh, but, you know, somebody has to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So, are there any other particular prayer requests? All right. We ask the church to stand. And let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father. In the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, just to say thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, Father, you blessed us and watched over us and kept us unto this very hour. But our hearts and our minds stayed on thee. We exalt thee, O Lord, because thou art great and highly exalted. And, Lord, we thank you and praise you in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless each and every request that's been made known. Remember men and women and children everywhere. Lord, save and add to the church daily yes, such as Lord. should be saved. Yes. Lord, draw in our hearts and in our minds and our spirit. And even those that are tuning in on with us, with us to unto me this evening and those that will look later, we ask you, Lord, that you bless, Lord, bless. by your yes, power. Yes, send yes. forth your word, send forth your anointing. Yes, Lord. Help us, Lord, with understanding and wisdom and knowledge. Yes. Father, we thank you and praise you. you. Give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. I want you to go with me to that familiar passage of Scripture, uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to uh, deal with some things that the Lord has laid on our heart um, about uh, spiritual warfare. And normally, I attack this scripture uh, about putting on the whole armor of God and being able to stand. Amen. And, but the Lord has, has, has dealt with me in a different way, and he has revealed some things to me um, that um, I don't normally see. Uh, and that's a good thing, isn't it? Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. So tonight, amen, we want to deal um, with the spiritual battle of personal attacks. Amen. Personal attacks. And how the enemy uses that uh, to, to get us out of the will of God, out of focus. Yeah. And to he uses that to get us off track, amen. you know. So we have to be mindful of these things as we endure and, and, and to achieve our goal, uh, that is to serve Christ, and that's to live for the Lord. Amen? Amen. So in this particular uh, passage of Scripture, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter number 10, and we want to ask our reader if, if she'd begin reading 
uh, at that first verse. Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am base among you, but being absent am bold toward you. Now, now here we come to the particular point in the chapter where Paul is literally now, he's defending his actions. He's defending himself. They, they had raised uh, quite a few accusations against Paul. And now Paul, you know, he's trying to set the church in order. He's trying to, he's trying to bring them back together. He's dealing, he has already dealt with some major issues and some themes within the church. But now he's dealing here with the theme of the attack that they have waged against him. Uh, the attack that they have waged against him. And um, so uh, uh, Paul, uh, we see he was under attack uh, by some people and also uh, we are attacked by systems that people create. You know, people create systems to keep you in bondage, yeah. to keep you oppressed. Yeah. Uh, and and um, we have to remember that 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 uh, the scripture says we wrestle not against what flesh, 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 flesh and, and blood, blood, but against principalities. Yeah. And see, principalities are are people that are in leadership positions yeah. that that set things in place to keep you back to keep you underfoot, to yes. keep you from progressing in God. Yes. And, and uh, we see here then that uh, 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 they were challenging Paul in his apostleship. They were challenging him as far as salvation. They were saying, you ain't even saved. <laughs> You're not even an apostle. Wow. You know, and then they were, they were attacking his actions, his behaviors, the things that they were doing. See, this is what makes it personal. What makes it personal as well, they were attacking his preaching. You know, they said, you, you, you know, you, 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 you can't even really preach, you know. And uh, you, you think you can preach, but you can't preach. Your, they said that's what they meant when he said, your speech is contemptible. You know, you, 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 you write real strong letters. You know, uh, when you're when you're uh, not in our presence, you know, you write really strong letters. You talk big, but when you're with us, you act like a little coward. Wow. Huh? That's how that's how they were attacking, attacking his, attacking him personally. Wow. You know, personal attacks, and and that's how the enemy gets us. Huh? Now you can talk about some things. You know, uh, uh, where I went to school. You know, talk about my education or whatever. But but now when you start talking about me and my personality, you know, now you're going to knock me off my square. You know, now, now it's time to fight. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? That's how the enemy gets you. Yeah. My brother? I was just going to say, they only talked that way to Paul because they had to know there was a change in Paul's life. Yeah. And Paul was persecuted. Persecuted, so he wasn't weak. No, he wasn't weak at all. He wasn't timid or nothing. No, but they knew that it was a change. It in was Paul. a change. So when, they, when the bully see a change in you, he'll yeah. he'll come at you. Right, he'll come at you. <laughs> now you 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 punk. Yeah. You know you 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 a little sissy now. Mm -hmm. You know using using and then you know um, um, be, being a preacher, you know. Um, you know, some people talk about my preaching now. I'm like, well, wait, wait a minute, hold on. You know, it's a little personal here. You know, maybe I had a bad day. <laughs> you know, but you know, I, I, at least I tried to get the word of God out. Right. You know, there was uh, I was under attack uh, by by one guy. He said uh, after I got through preaching, I was you know it didn't go well. It was I had to struggle, I had to fight through some demons, he, right. and we were sitting there at dinner. He said, well, you know, you, your sermon wasn't all that great. You know, I'm like, where this come from? Where this come from? You know, and now, now I got to fight through that while sitting here having dinner with you. Right. You know, yeah. I'd be pleasant. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and now, even after that, now I got to think about, well, how can I can remain friends with you? <laughs> because because, because the, the immediate reaction is to right. cut you off. Right. You know? No, that's you know what I mean? Too. Yeah. You know, so, so you know, that's, that's how the enemy operates. Yeah. But I got yeah. to realize, I got to realize who was in control at that time when that statement was being made. Uh, not the individual, right. but the enemy. Uh, and the enemy used his thoughts. Uh, his thought was, well, uh, Pastor Quinn didn't really preach a good sermon. You know, then the enemy get into his thoughts. And he said, well, well, just tell him, just say, it. you know. Uh, he didn't, he, he, he wasn't all that great, you know. And, and to, uh, to launch a personal attack. Because I've already felt like, you know, right. man, my God, Lord, I wish you to help me a little bit more. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I know I didn't do a good job. You know, right. preachers know when they didn't, don't get over that word the way, way, way you practiced it or the way you thought it in your mind. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Huh? Yeah, it's a battle, my brother. There was a brother that uh, uh, minister that came, came here and preached. Uh huh. And uh, he felt real bad about it. Yeah. Said, yeah, I, I normally don't preach like that. Right. He said, I'm a better speaker than that. Right. You know, and I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> things happen. You know, yeah. you don't get the, the bring the anointing every time you get up. Right. You know? <laughs> right. Some of those uh, messages is going to be. Yeah. Feel like I could have did better. Could have did right. better. Could have did better. So that, so in our scripture here, you know, that's what Paul is dealing with. He's dealing with personal attacks uh, that that would would if if he allowed it would take him away from Christ to have him to start responding in in the flesh and not in the spirit. Amen. Anytime that the enemy can use uh, personal attacks against you to get you to respond in the flesh, he's got you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, and as I was meditating on this, the Lord said, tell, tell the saints that when you start trying to defend yourself, you've already lost. Yes. Uh, when you start to try That's to true. defend your actions, yes. like you ever see those, uh, he brought it to my mind, uh, people are on uh, a witness stand. And, you know, they tell murderers, don't, you don't want to go up there on the witness stand, you know, because they'll get you. You know, when you get up on the witness stand, uh, it's like uh, the, the skilled lawyer uh, knows how to say some things to get people upset and angry. And then when you get upset and angry, you say any and everything. Start incriminating people. <laughs> incriminating yourself. That's why they put it in the Constitution, plead the fifth. <laughs> you follow me? Thank you, Lord. But when you start to try to defend yourself, uh, let God defend you. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to defend yourself. Let God defend you. Amen. But when you try to defend yourself, he's got you. Yeah. Now, now, now you may, you may, you may be so uh, not slow to speak. You may start telling some lies. You know, you may uh, start, start doing things out of character. You follow me? Be trying to trying to defend your you you know how it is when you try to my God I feel the Holy Ghost when you try to defend yourself uh, uh, oftentimes you get angry and upset That's true. right you get mad and when you get mad and angry and upset you say anything uh, come out of your mouth Amen Thank you Lord so so we have to watch uh, personal attacks yeah. of the enemy to move us off of. Our, our, our road of holiness and righteousness. Amen, my brother? Yeah, just two days ago, I was at work and I'm down there picking something up at the lead on the basement and I'm pulled under the, the over, overhead and this other driver comes up that works with me and she pulled on the side where I was parked at, but she come in here and was like, how long? How long you gonna be here? How long? What you? She said, "It's it's it's uh it's busy up in this area. People trying to get it up in here. How long you gonna be here? Who you waiting for?" And I'm just looking at her. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause cause I I ain't never seen that side of her. 
Mm-hmm. You know? And, right. Um, so I said, I'm only going to be here for four or five minutes. It didn't come out that smooth a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> with a little bit intent, intention, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. But uh, like, you, like you said, you know, the Lord is working with me now. I'm trying right. to train myself. Right. Like to not even respond because once I responded, then now what she said just manifested in my yeah. head for throughout the day somewhat, yeah, you absolutely. know, and I was frustrated with her. Right. But I if I wouldn't have respond, I would have got the victory and then the thought I wouldn't Maintain. even thought about it no more. Yeah. It's like it's like uh, you got a boulder on top of a hill. Once you push that Trying, trying to get it going down. Once it starts going down that hill, it's rolling now. <laughs> right. It's rolling. Uh, now it's hard to get up under that and stop it. Uh, same like with our with our mouth. You know, once once our buttons are pushed, uh, it's it's hard to be slow to speak then. <laughs> Swift to hear. You know, you can't can't take them beautiful words back. <laughs> uh, uh, they out there. You know, and then, and then you know, that's what Paul was facing, huh? And um, uh, and let's read that first, that first uh, verse again. Now I call myself. <coughs> now I call myself to teach you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. Now notice, notice what he said. Now this is what well, another uh, nugget that the Lord showed me. You know, and and. In dealing with personal attacks, huh? uh, Paul said, "I beseech you uh, by what? Mercy. Meekness. The, the, yes, the meekness and gentleness, and gentleness of, Christ. of Christ. Amen. So he was literally using, you know, uh, what he had learned from Christ." in how to deal with people. You know, in, in order to deal with people, Paul is saying that I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep myself meek, humble, yeah. uh, so I don't take the bait, uh, yeah. by the gentleness and meekness of what? Of Christ, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna operate in Christ, up under his anointing. Yeah. Meaning that, that when Christ when, notice, when he was reviled, he what? Reviled not again. What's that word revile mean? When he was reviled. Attacked. Attacked. Huh? When he was attacked. Uh, they attacked Christ, didn't they? Huh? They, they, they called him a child of, of a fornication. Huh? They said, you all together a child of fornication. When he healed that guy, that blind guy, y'all remember that? He healed the blind guy. And the, uh, the blind guy got healed by Jesus, and they asked him, who healed you? Brought his parents in and said, come here, come here. Uh, who, healed, who healed your son? And you know, they was afraid that they wanted to get kicked out of the synagogue. They said, oh, he's, he's of age. Uh, ask him, you know. And then, and then the, when they asked him, you know, uh, uh, and he said, well, if I tell you who healed me, Will you believe? You know, and that provoked them. That provoked them. <laughs> you know, that provoked them. They got a man. You, you know, they got a man. Uh, and and they, they came at Jesus. Uh, and they said that he was, you know, a child of fornication. You know, because they was coming at him. You know? Casting out. You know, casting out by the spirit devils. of Beelzebub. Right, by the spirit of Beelzebub. Huh? Coming at him. But now, when he was revived, uh, he operated in a spirit of meekness and humbleness. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and he didn't revile again. And when he, when he, when he was suffering, uh, when they was getting ready to throw him off the, the mountain headlong, you know, Jesus didn't turn around and curse him. Uh, and and, 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 and uh, he didn't turn around and, 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 and get him. You know, he just got he just got away. You know? Thank you, Lord. And, and, and you know, that's the thing. You don't have to have the last word. Huh? You don't when people 
revile you. Uh, you don't have to defend yourself, poke yourself out. Uh, you don't have to uh, defend yourself. Let God defend you. Amen? Let God stand up for you. Am I right? Amen. Notice the scripture in Philippians. Let's go there real quick. Philippians, uh, I believe it's what, chapter number three. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Sometimes people say, well, don't you always feel on the go? <laughs> well, you know. I feel it. Yeah. What is it? Ephesians? Yeah, Philippians. Philippians, I'm sorry. Yep. Philippians, but chapter number three. What's that first verse say? Finally, my brothers, rejoice oh. in the Lord. Hold on. Go to, go to two. See, I got a, I ain't got my regular sword. There be, therefore, any consolation in Christ. See, yeah, I'm missing a whole section of my Bible. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of All right. Oh, you're going to be feasting. All right, hold on. Jesus. All right. Oop, gee, sorry, bro. Boy, that's old. Oh, oh that's geez. old. That, that's old. That's old. That's, that's going to rip by looking at it. <laughs> that thing about 30 years old. <laughs> sorry, bro. No, man. That's all right. It's anointed. Okay, amen. All right. Uh, First Corinthians. I mean, uh, Philippians chapter number 2, verse 1. What does it say? If there be, therefore, any consolation in Christ. Uh, any comfort in Christ. Read. If any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercy. Yeah. Fulfill ye my joy. Yeah. That ye be like-minded. Now notice what Paul is saying. Be like-minded. Mm -hmm. Be like Jesus. Yes. Amen. Read. Having the same love. Being of one accord, uh -huh. of one mind. Now, love like Jesus loved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Have the same mind as Christ. Yeah. Amen? Read. What does it say? Let nothing be done through strife or vain Now, don't let nobody, uh, don't try to defend yourself. Amen? Mm -hmm. Through strife. Striving with somebody. Yeah. Arguing with somebody. Uh, don't try to seek after vain glory. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I showed her. I showed him. Uh, vain glory. I read. But in loneliness of mind, uh -huh. let each esteem other better than themselves. Now, now, this is how to, not to take the bait for personal attacks. Uh, you've got to esteem that person whom you are having the contention with better than yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a novel thought, ain't it? They telling you all, uh, but you, you're a good person. Uh, I'm not going to take the bait. Uh, uh, I'm going to honor you. Uh, you know how people, when you argue with somebody, with all due respect, sir, uh, uh, I'm going to honor you. Uh, never, never give up in your mind honoring those who are attacking you. That's deep. Uh, honor them. Uh, give them respect. Who did that in the Bible? David. King Saul came after. Could have killed him several times. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. Young man lied. Said he killed da uh, Saul. David killed him. Yes. Uh, you follow me? Honoring. Uh, Y'all with me? Wow. Honoring. Uh, that's the mindset you got to have. Amen. This is deep. This ain't, this ain't for the faint at heart. Uh, this is deep. Uh, you, you cussing me out, but I'm going to honor you. You telling me off, I'm going to honor you. Amen. Uh, my brother? I think Paul did that with Festus. Uh huh. He was uh, in front of King Agrippa. Uh huh. And uh, King 
Ripper said, you almost uh, convinced me to be a Christian. Yeah. Festus told Paul, much learning had made you mad. Yeah. And Paul said, oh, noble Festus. Yeah. You know, he didn't come back at him. Right. He, he honored him and said, oh, noble. Noble. Called him noble. Yes. He said, I'll, I'll work together that you believe like I believe, all except for these bonds mm -hmm. or these being in these chains. Uh, when Jesus uh, 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 was having the Last Supper, uh, and the, the enemy entered into Judas, uh, and he said, well, what you do, do, go ahead and do it quickly. He didn't try to stop him. Go ahead and do it, what you're going to do, do it quickly. And then when Judas met him in the garden, kissed him, Jesus said, what did Jesus say? Betray me, betray me with a kiss. Huh? But now notice, notice that kiss though. He allowed him to come close to him. Yes. Huh? Yes. To come up on him. Yes. Huh? Judas could have stabbed him. Huh? But he but he opened himself. Amen. You follow me? Huh? Showing us be open to your enemy. Huh? He followed Jesus. Yeah. Was with him. <laughs> was with him. It, 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 uh, it makes a difference, your mindset going into the fight. Uh, if you go into the fight saying you no good so and so and so and so, huh? uh-uh, you ain't no good anyway, you are, you are, you are a devil, uh, and, and, and now it's my time to get you. You already lost before the fight started. It's over. The enemy got you. Dig it, Phil? All these, hey. things, all these things have to be done that God get the glory, not yourself. Sometimes people right. want other people to think of them as right. superior. And a lot of times, I, I don't care right. if they hear me. I say, Lord, help me, please. Oh, God, help me. Because I want them to know I'm asking them for help. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good strategy. Yeah. If they God fearing, they'll back up on them. Yeah. Wrong with that. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Wow. Because I even know of myself when people try to accuse me of something I didn't do. Now, now, now that that brings me to another level. How I'm talking to you. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bring myself back to earth. Huh? <laughs> My wife said, mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but notice what he said. We're gonna move on. Jesus, Lord help us. What verse he is? Four. All right. He said, let, read that three again. What's it say? Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Uh huh. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Read. Look not every man on his own thing, uh -huh. but every man also on the things of others. All right, now here we go. This is the verse that we're really after. Read. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Because Paul said in that tenth verse, in that tenth, Second Corinthians chapter ten, that first verse, by I beseech you. Uh, by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. This is what he's referring to. You know, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Read. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Uh-huh. But made himself of no reputation. Now, he didn't look to defend himself or make himself Jesus. No reputation. Amen. Read. And took upon him form of a servant. Uh, humbled himself. Took upon him the form of a servant. Huh? Read. And was made in the likeness of men. Of you and I. Read. And being found in fashion as a man. Uh-huh. He humbled himself. He humbled himself. And became obedient unto death. Uh-huh. Even the death of the cross. Now when he was being reviled, when he was being tempted, uh, when he was being talked about, uh, he remained humble. Why? Because he knew he was a servant. Huh? He knew that he was not fighting with flesh and blood, but with spirits. Huh? He knew it was a spiritual battle. Amen? So he humbled himself. He knew that he came to save those that were lost. 
Case in point, when Jesus was on that cross, he said, Father, forgive them, huh? for they know not what they do. Huh? They, they beat him, didn't they? Huh? Beyond recognition, they spit him, they humiliated him. Huh? But he said, forgive them, Father. Huh? They don't know, see, he didn't take the bait. Huh? You follow me? Hallelujah. Don't take the bait. Huh? Personal attack. That was a personal attack. Amen? But he didn't take the bait. Amen? All right? He humbled himself, became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Read. Wherefore God has also had highly exalted him. God highly exalted him. Let God highly exalt you. That's what Deacon Fields. Deacon Fields took my saying. I was going to say it. Don't try to promote yourself. Huh? Don't try to promote yourself. Let God exalt you. Amen? Let God defend you. Amen? You're going to be misunderstood, especially if you're doing the will of God. Huh? They ain't going to like you. Jesus said, if they hated me, they're going to hate you. Huh? They love me, they're going to love you. And that's true. Huh? That's true. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But so, so don't allow personal attacks of other people to get you out of the will of God. Amen. It's a battle. It's a fight, my brother. That's when people see God. Yeah. When you hold your peace. Yeah. That's when they really see God is working in that individual. Absolutely. Because I said some things that should have. You know, <laughs> made them come back. Uh huh. And say something harsh, you know, yeah. but when you don't say nothing, you confuse the enemy. Confuse like the enemy. Huh? Speak, allow the Holy Ghost to speak out of you. Time to speak, time to be quiet. Amen. It's time for every purpose or anything under the sun. Amen. But when you're under attack, uh, it's better. To hold your peace. Huh? And allow God to fight your battle. You're going to get out the will of God. You're going to get out the will. If you, because, because when you don't hold your peace, now you operating in the flesh. Yes. Amen. When you start operating in the flesh, he got you. Yes. Amen. Got you. Yes. Yes. Got him. Yes. Huh? Got you. I was, I was frustrated with myself. Right. Hallelujah. Really right. Because you, you know, you know that's when you lost. You know, it's like, man, why didn't you just give a deaf ear? Right. And I, you know, I've been asking the Lord to help me, you know, make me aware. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, yeah. when that when that spirit, when it opened his mouth, let me be able to identify before it even finished the sentence. Yeah. So I can give a deaf ear to it. Right. Yeah. It's like, it's like. Y'all, y'all, y'all know who's, what's his name? Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry, yeah. Yeah. basketball player, yeah. right? Steph Curry. Steph Curry, right? You know, think about him when he's feeling it, and he shoot a three pointer, huh? And it, especially a game winner. Then now, now he's doing all this shimmying, huh? In the face of, in the face of the opponent, you know, he rejoicing and celebrating, you know. But sometimes you shoot that three pointer, know it's going in, go back down the court. Yeah, yeah, huh? Huh? Yeah. Now, now he doing that to showboat. Yeah. Huh? The enemy does that stuff to us. Yes. Huh? When you know we got you. Huh? Now he showboat. Huh? Now he's shimmying on you. <laughs> he rejoicing. <laughs> he all happy now. Ooh, I got him. Yeah. Huh? I got him. Yeah. Uh, let's see what how you gonna get out of this. Yeah. Uh, then you mess around and don't confess in a while. He beat you. Huh? Why wow. you going days and days without without confessing your sin? He beat you now. Mm -hmm. yes. huh? That's how he operates. My brother. I was always intrigued um, at the slaying of Steve, Stephen, which oh yeah, Saul. Who he was Saul, yes. he wasn't Paul yet. He ordered that attack. Yes. And it said in this book, wow. it says, as he cried out to his heavenly father, he said, Please 
do not hold them in account for this. And yeah. he had the face of an angel yeah. as he did that. Yeah. That meant he was peaceful as he was yeah. being stoned to death. Yeah. It's something that's entirely foreign to me because I've always been very military minded. Right. <laughs> when you're under attack, you, you, you return fire. Right. And I was just like, when I read that, I we all like that. To me, I was so yeah. intrigued by it. Yeah. But it's something I know I need more work at. Oh, yeah. This is. It's, it's a mindset. It's total discipline. Amen. And then Jesus showed that he was pleased with it. Amen. Stood up on the throne. Mindset. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My brother. Let's, let's say you were on your way to pick up a thousand dollars or a large sum of money. And some petty thing happened. To you along the way, you wouldn't pay it no mind because you you have <laughs> good point. <laughs> you, have, <laughs> you say, sir, I'm going to get my hundred thousand. Good point. You know, uh, like Paul said, I reckon that the sufferings yeah. of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Yeah. When you look ahead of what we 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 going to gain, right? All this stuff don't mean nothing. Well, what he would you good point. Yeah. Another thought. See now, this is the mindset. Yeah. Uh, another thought. He says, uh, 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 "Gee, now I lost my thought." <laughs> but he's basically talking. I'm uh, basically trying to say that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I reckon that the the present sufferings of this world right. uh, are worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Make a difference. Let's go back. Let's go back. Did you finish reading that? Yes. Finish reading that. Wherefore God hath also has highly exalted him. Exactly exalted exalted. And given him a name which is above every name. Every name. All right. Go ahead. Let's go back. Now that's what Paul was talking about when he says in the acting in the meekness and the gentleness of Christ. Having the mind of Christ. Amen. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So, so what the Lord showed me out of that was that's that's a that's a weapon of warfare. Huh? Dealing with people, especially your enemy, in gentleness and meekness. Huh? Just like my brother said, naturally our mind said return fire. Huh? 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 Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You follow me? But but you can't act in your own mindset. Right. You got to act in the mind of Christ. Yes. What did Christ do? Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Acting kingdom principles, not worldly principles. Amen. That's the difference, ain't it? Yes. And and you gotta. You got to meditate on these things to put this stuff in your mind. Yeah. <laughs> because it don't come natural. Right. Huh? Right. It's, 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 it's unnatural to us. Yeah. Huh? My brother? I was going to say, Bishop, even having the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Ghost, and it's hard to do it, to let somebody have the last word on you. Or right. You know, it's hard even with the spirit. Right. So if you in the flesh, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. And uh, we're going to get to it, but when it talks about the, uh, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds, the weapons that the enemy uses are mighty, are strong. Amen? Because look how, look how the chaos that is in the world. Huh? All the confusion that's going on now. Huh? It's, 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 it's the weapons that the enemy is using against each other. Huh? But his weapons are not as strong as God's weapons. Amen? How could we say sometimes we can get in trouble God can send us a word of knowledge. Yeah. He can say, don't do this. Don't go there. Right. And I'm going, I, no, I had enough in that prayer. I'm going right. that way. 
Wow. <laughs> and when you get there, <laughs> you're going to find yourself in worse trouble than you trouble. before. <laughs> because you didn't obey. Yes. Wow. Wow. I have, wow. A, I have a picture of something like wow. that. I was going to give it to a sister Amanda to put on the bulletin board. It's, it's the old hyena. You know, they try to, they think they can, you know, buck anything and get, get anything. Right. And the hyena was so bad, he was all scratched up and half of his hair was gone. And down at the bottom of the, cap, the picture it said, this is how you look when the Holy Ghost tells you don't get involved with that and you do it. Yep. Wow. 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 Yeah. That's what I'm saying. See? See? Yo, see, I know I know that this message is from God. Uh, because those two back-to-back -back statements, the Lord gave me scripture uh, for one that Deacon Field said, and then he dropped in my mind uh, that which you just said. But you put it more in an elegant way. I like it. I like it. I like it because cause, cause when we get down into the scripture, when we're talking about operating off of our vain imagination, mm. uh, we act ugly. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm acting in the flesh, that's ugly. It uh, is, it is, uh, that, ain't, that ain't gracious. Uh, when you're acting in the spirit, you, that's gracious. Uh, that's, that's, that's control. Uh, it's a, you can see a difference. You don't you don't look like them hyenas. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Put, put that thing on the board. Let's make copies and hand them out. Right, absolutely. You and then and then you you feel now y'all forgive my French. You feel like a booty after you get done. Mm. You feel that way, mm. huh? Like, you know you messed up. Yeah, like I said, I was, I was frustrated with myself. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's Dang, unseemly. Let it get you. Huh? <laughs> Operating in the Holy Ghost or in the Spirit, you don't act unseemly. No. Uh, but when you operating in your flesh, uh, you acting unseemly, out of character, uh, people know it. Sometimes it's worse when you don't say anything. Uh, and then you sit and rest on it. Mm -hmm. You ever do that? Absolutely. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes a difference. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. All right, let's go back. It's good. Oh, well, I might as well hit that verse of what I was talking about with uh, 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 Deacon Field. Go to Hosea chapter uh, number four and verse number six. It's important. That we know about God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's how we pull down imaginations and high things that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. You got it? What's it say? Yeah. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now, 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 now muse on that for a minute. Mm -hmm. What destroys us? The enemy don't destroy us. A lack of knowledge. Ignorance destroys us. Yes, My people are destroyed because of lack of... Jesus got the victory over the devil. Yeah. Huh? I got victory. As long as I walk in here, I got yeah. victory yeah. over the enemy. Yeah. Huh? But when I, when I don't know what I got, huh? when I don't know how to use what I got, when I don't know when to use what I got, yes. huh? Uh, now I'm in trouble. Huh? You follow me? We're destroyed because we don't study. We don't pray. We don't meditate. We don't put on. We don't take off. Huh? We don't kill the flesh. Don't kill it. We walk in it. Uh -huh. Can't do that. You can't live in the flesh and live with God. The opposite. The people usually say ignorant is bliss. Yeah. Ignorant is not bliss. It's not bliss. You just, well, I don't say, you don't say, you just, you just ignorant. I was going to say dumb, but I ain't going to say that. Huh? In Canada, they have signs that ignorance is bliss. Yeah. 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 
ignorance is the excuse of no man. Right. No matter if you can't you can't give them. I don't. I didn't know that. Right. The sign is right there. That's it. And and if you think about God's judgment, uh, those that don't know, they still gonna be beat. But those that know are going to be beat more but many times. Yes. So if I tell you, it don't excuse you because you say, I didn't know God. Huh? My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Read the finish reading that. Dick and Fields, what you going to say? You know what a manic depressive is. Right? Oh, yeah. I ran across one and, and I, I, the Lord made a way of escape, but I ain't kicking. <laughs> is there a testimony in there somewhere? <laughs> and, 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 and he, he just pushed the last button. And I sat. I said, oh, God. I, I, I felt like he did. Oh, my God. He ran in the room. <laughs> he ran in the room, left the door. But I, I ran. I said, please. I said, I'm sorry. He turned around with the most demonic look and said, I knew I'd get you. He said, ever since See? you came See? in here, I've been after you. Mm -hmm. He nah. said, a drop of water can melt a mountain. It just nah. takes a long time. Nah. I said, you said evil that we <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now listen. Yeah, yeah. 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 But now listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> now, when, when, when that voice from within said, I know I get, I'll get you. That was the devil! <laughs> he, was, he was showing that that individual was possessed by the devil. Huh? And the devil was saying, I knew I'd get you. Yes. Huh? That's the way he is. He's an accuser of the brethren. Huh? And that's up. Huh? We're not ignorant of Satan's device. You follow me? All right, finish reading that verse. I just like the rest of that verse because my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Yes. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Now notice, we reject knowledge. Huh? Uh, Deacon Fields just said, "Man, you all up in the Bible study. I like it." <laughs> he said, "The Lord made a way of escape, and He did what? He didn't take it. He rejected it. Uh, because He rejected it, He fell into the condemnation of the enemy." Huh? How many of us have done that? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> huh? We got to be careful. Don't reject. Amen. Your help. Y'all know that story about that individual who was stranded on the island, boat yeah. came, helicopter came, and then something else came. Uh, then he got to heaven. <laughs> he said, Lord, I thought you was going to save me. I did. I sent you all that help. You rejected it. Uh, don't reject the help. I did, uh, Elder. You made me think of, I had a sign in my dorm. Common sense there told me not to do that. Right. But the sign that I had in my dorm said common sense are not common. Uh -huh. That's true. Uh, we think common sense are common. Uh -huh. Why didn't you stop? Right. Then you when you did your common sense tell you not to do that. Right. But we step right over our common sense and go to our flesh. That's it. All right. Finish reading that. I will also reject thee. Now notice when we reject God, He does what in turn? He rejects us. He rejects us. Mm -hmm. We don't like to think about it. Like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. God resists the proud. Right. Uh, gives grace to the humble. Yes, sir. Amen. All right, read. Because cause, cause God will never allow you to do it your way. Uh, because if you did it your way, you get the glory. He wants the glory. All right, read. That thou shalt be no priest to me, mm -hmm. seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. My God. I will also forget thy children. My, my, my. Mm. At deep. All right, let's go back over. All right? I think we're going to get through it. I think. I don't know. All right, good. No. All right? Uh -huh. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence. 
wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. Now, that's, that was one of the accusations against Paul. Remember I said personal attack. Paul hazarded his life for the gospel's sake. At this point in time, Paul started this Corinthian church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Help them to get the Holy Ghost. Help them to get saved. Talk them. Amen. Now they trying to say, you ain't even saved. Uh, I've had I have people uh, that have uh, uh, gotten saved under this ministry. Uh, then turn around and say, Queen, you ain't got it. Uh, you ain't really saved. But you got saved under the ministry. Uh, but they say, you, 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 you ain't got it. Uh, uh, that, 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 that hurts a pastor. Uh, you follow me? Because, you, you know, you, you labor with people. You help people. Uh, and then they, they turn their back on you. Uh, talk about you. The thing you said earlier, though, is it's the spirit that used that person. Right. Exactly. And so you can't take the bait. Exactly. As long as you know you up on the wall and you do Come what on. it's telling you to do, yeah. you keep moving forward. Moving forward. Then, how do you treat that individual when you see the individual? Huh? Still show them love. Absolutely. <laughs> huh? Amen. When, when I saw the individual, huh? still treating them with love. Uh, right. huh? Like they ain't said nothing. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You follow me? The love of Jesus. Humbleness and meekness. Uh, because I realized that there was evil spirit that's using them. They pulled them out. You follow me? Y'all yes. with me tonight? Yes. All right. So, so they were attacking Paul, saying that you walk, uh, you, uh, you walk according to the flesh. That you ain't even saved. Uh, you ain't even an apostle. Uh, you're nothing. Now, he labored with them. Built a church with them. Uh, taught them. But now you're nothing. You're nothing. Wow. Bishop, I've learned that you can do a world of good for people. But they forget all your good if you do one thing. Uh-huh. One bad thing. One, one little thing. Mm -hmm. They forget all the good right. that you've done to them. Right. You just look on and, and attack you with that one little thing. And and what's attacking is the the enemy that's using them. Yes, sir. Right. Spirit. Huh? It's the imagination. It's the thoughts. Huh? We gotta remember that that I'm getting ahead of myself in the Bible study here, but we got to remember that, that we're dual nature. Some people uh, don't think that. Uh, but you, 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 got, you got a human side of you. Uh, then you got a spiritual side of you. Uh, and your human side is corruptible. Uh, am I right? And it's always warring against your spiritual side that is righteous and holy. So you've got to bring your carnal side into subjection to your spiritual side 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. Huh? And that's a battle. Huh? Because the enemy, he uses your imaginations, your thoughts. Huh? He'll tell you, uh, your daughter is your enemy, your son is your enemy. Uh, you think it may be the Lord. Oh, that's discernment. The Lord, the Lord is giving me discernment. <laughs> God ain't gonna never tell you that. Huh? Oh, I just fool you, the enemy. Ooh. Uh, you think that. That's the enemy. That's the enemy putting that thought in your mind and you think it's God. Huh? You got to rebuke that. Huh? Bring that down. Even though your child 
may be acting against you. You got to remember that that's a spirit. Yes, sir. Huh? That's, 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 that has uh, possessed your child. <laughs> huh? It's operating in your child trying to get to you. Yes. Yes. You follow? So then, then you've got to cast that down. Cast that thought down. And not accept that thought. All right, Diggy Fields? You know, I remember, uh, you know, my mother in the morning, you know, she fix bacon and eggs, and, you know, pancakes the next day, and, you know, just making all kinds of cooking food. And then I went to her and said, go fix yourself a bowl of cereal. I said, you don't love me no more. <laughs> but I just say, you know, like the devil get in your mind. Because, right. Because you want of what you want, what you expect. Right. It ain't going the way you want. So, yeah? Which way we think? All right, go ahead, Reed. What verse you in? All right, Reed. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. All right. So, the scripture in, uh, let's go there real quick. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 12. You got to remember this. Though we walk or live in this fleshly body, we don't fight according to fleshly tactics. And this is the reason why. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. All right, so we are not in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That word wrestle is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yes, sir. With flesh and blood. But we're, against principalities. Now we're fighting against systems. Against uh, powers. Against powers. The enemy has powers. Yeah. Read. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. All right. Now we're fighting against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Read. Against spiritual wickedness and high places. Again, that's what we're fighting against. Is that in 2 Timothy still? Uh, nope, that's in Ephesians, Ephesians uh, chapter 6, verse 12. That's where we're at. All right, read. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. All right, so you've got to get ready for the fight. Take on the whole armor of God. That, you, that you may be able to withstand uh -huh. in the evil day. Yes, now, the only way that you can withstand in the evil day. Now, when he says the evil day, he's talking about when the attack comes. Amen? And, and right now, we're in an evil day. Huh? The enemy is attacking us. Huh? How you know enemy attack? Because we do stupid stuff. Huh? We do ugly stuff. Yes, sir. We act out of character. We are being out of character. Out of the character of Christ. Yes, sir. Huh? Y'all with me? Anytime I'm not fellowshipping you or, or dealing with you. Out of love. Huh? Anytime I'm breaking the unity. Huh? That, 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 that tells you something. Amen? Amen. Huh? All right, read. And having done all to stand. Yeah. All right. Let's go back. So, so, let's go. But why get it in Ephesians? Go to Ephesians 4 and 3. Because we got to know what the fight is. What we're fighting for. Amen. Amen. Like, like, like what Deacon Field said. When he said that about, so you on fire tonight. People just don't know it. <laughs> when, when, when he said, you got a million dollars and you on your way to go get it. All the little frivolous stuff don't matter. Uh, because you know where you're going. You know what you're after. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And this verse tells us what we're after. Amen? Read. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Uh, now, we got to keep the unity of the Spirit. What does that word endeavoring mean? Persevering. Continuing. Continuing. Persevering. Uh, working toward it. Fighting. Amen? Endeavoring. Amen. I see it 
I'm like, like Elder Radcliffe, he, talk, he was talking about that little train going up that mountain. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Uh, never giving up. Uh, don't give up. Uh, never letting go. Don't let go. Amen. Uh, uh, I travail in birth again till Christ be formed in you. Uh, uh, Job, Lord, I know that this is you. In this flesh, I'm going to see you. Uh, uh, Esther, if I perish, I perish. Yes, sir. Uh, I got to go see the king. Yeah. Uh, uh, David, he encouraged himself in the Lord. Yeah. Uh, uh, why? Because he sees something. You got to see something. Yeah. Uh, you got to know that you got an inheritance uh, uh, that's incorruptible, undefiled. It's reserved yeah. uh, in heaven for you. Uh, I got to get it. Yeah. Uh, 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 I want it. Yeah. Uh, uh, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. Wow. Hallelujah. God has something for us. Huh? Y'all with me today? Huh? These things, you got to endeavor. Huh? That's what you're endeavoring for. Amen? This whole world, everything that you see, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, is it going to be burned up? Everything. Huh? <laughs> the word of God will stand forever. Huh? But everything going to be burned up. That car, that house, Huh? Those, this, this furniture, these buildings, yeah. huh? everything. Oh God, I'm about to fall. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> everything. Just like the city of Lahaina, Hawaii. Yep. Uh, burn up. Burn up. So why should I put so much importance on that which is going to be burn up? Wow. Huh? Right. Trick it in. Stuff, tricking in. What profit of a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall a man give in exchange uh, for his soul? Amen? Y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. I was talking to uh, Pastor Joyce Moses one day, and uh, uh, she knew that some people was, oh, Jesus, I'm going to be recording. But, uh, you know, you know, some people try to get over on you. Yeah. I just said it like that. Uh, and then she said to me, she said, well, uh, uh, Pastor Quinn, uh, uh, God going to make it right. People really never really get over. <laughs> uh, I received that. Uh, God going to make it right. Yeah. Amen. And I ain't talking about Lord killing me. Uh, God going to turn stuff around. Yes, he will. Amen. I gotta believe that. Yes. Huh? He shot. Yo, let me know. You gotta believe that God is an avenger. Huh? Huh? That he's a rewarder to them that diligently. You gotta believe he is who he said he is. You gotta believe that I am that I am. Huh? God has a universal law. Yes. Yeah. As a man. Shall he also eat? Yeah. So whatever comes out of your mouth, you're going to reap it. It's coming Girl, back. It's coming. Whether it's good or bad. Yeah. It's coming back. Coming back. Whatever we do, it's coming back. Coming back. So don't focus on the things of this earth. Set your affections on things where? Above. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Hold on, he got to say something. I was thinking, uh, he was you. talking about the enemy. <laughs> he was talking about the enemy. I want to have a praise break right now. <laughs> I got to hold on. I got to hold on. I need somebody on that organ. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, the, 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 the enemy, um, God allows him to do what he does. Yeah. But... but we, we have to deal with it when God said the battle is his. Right. Because if we do it God's way, the, in, the enemy is up to per, his purpose. If we let God handle it, right. it's only two things he can do. The enemy can't right. overcome us. Right. He can't do that. No, can't do it. In God's will, it's only two things the enemy can do. It's got to make him a friend. Uh-huh. Or he'll be a, he'll be a stool, a stepping yeah. stone. Yep. 
That's all, that's all he can be. That's it. If we do it God's way. That's it. Now notice. Notice what he said. He quoted the scripture. He said, the battle doesn't belong to us, but the battle belongs to the Lord. Yeah. All right. Now question. When does the battle belong to the Lord? All the time. All the time. Whoop. Whoop. When you give it to him. When you walk in his way. Huh? When you turn it over to him. As long as you're trying to do it, it's your battle. Yes. You in control. Amen. Huh? That's good stuff. Yes. Am I right? But when you humble yourself, turn it over to him. Now it becomes his back. Huh? Yes. It's like Elder got a problem, right? It's his problem until he tell me about it. Now it becomes our problem. I can help him. Huh? But he got to turn it over. Yes. Follow me? Now, what we do, what we do, listen to me here. God started off when you turn it over to him. God started operating in it, fixing it. Now you say, oh, I got it now, Lord. You can go back and pick I it up. Yeah, I, can, I got it now, Lord. I see. I got it. <laughs> then now, the enemy put that in your mind. Yes. So, oh, you got it now. You can do it. Wow. Huh? Yes. Then, then he got you again. Yep. Let God see it through. Yes. Amen. Don't go back and pick it up. Dog going back to his body. Pig going back to waddling in the in the in the mire. Amen. <laughs> like the bishop said, uh, dog vomited it up. Walk away. Turn back and say, "Oh, that wasn't so bad." Go back to it. Lick it up again. Let's not do that. Yes. Mm. Amen. What the dog has to do to get it out. You see red and everything. Everything. <laughs> Kick up his hind quarters. <laughs> 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 All right, where we at? Where we at? Read. What verse is it? Ephesians 4 and 3. All right. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Now notice. En endeavoring to keep the unity. See, we got to keep oneness. Unity in the spirit. In, and how do we do that? Now, what does that mean in the bond of peace? You know, I used to think that that said, you know, we have a, I have a, a that was my chimney corner scripture. You know, a chimney corner scripture means you be adding stuff that ain't there. Uh, so I used to think that that was in the bond of love. Uh, but it's the bond of peace. That changes. Huh? You gotta keep peace. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Follow peace yes. with all men and holiness without the which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. You bond something that's together. Right. It's, it's all together. Right. And, and you do that in peace. Peace. Notice it says, "Much as lies in you, huh? Live what." Peaceably with what? All men. All men. So, so, so that scripture's deep uh, in the sense that 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 not everybody, not everybody, you won't be. Um, uh, I can't say. Uh, be peaceable with. Yes. Huh? Notice what he says there. As much as lies in you. Huh? So, so that which is in you, uh, that peace that's within you, yeah. you, you operate in that, knowing that, that this individual that, that we're always having contentions with, that, that, that I'm not going to allow you to disturb my peace. Yeah. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to take your bait. Uh -huh. You can argue with yourself. Mm. Yeah, that's deep. I'm, t I'm teaching tonight. You argue with yourself, so therefore I'm gonna treat you right. Uh, I'm gonna do good to you, uh, but I'm not gonna get in it with you. 
Because I got peace yes, lying within me that I can't let you disturb. Yeah. Huh? Uh, because once you take my peace, then I gotta fight you. Yes, huh? Come on! <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's, right. that's deep! I love the Lord. If you spend time meditating on him, he'll show you some deep things. Huh? Hey! Come on, Shanda! All men, if it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Sometimes you can feel people's spirits. Uh huh. You know, if my son called me and he told me, he said, You know, Mom, and this is my baby son, he said, I was around this one person, he was just standing next to me, he said, I felt some bad vibes from yeah. him. And I said, Well, you know what to do when you feel that. I said, You get away from those people. Right. He said, That's exactly what I did because I remember you told me that. Right. So you, you can sometimes you can feel bad vibes coming from people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And don't allow people to take your peace. That's right. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah, that's right. I think First Lady testified to that one day, one Sunday. What she said? She wasn't letting nothing take her peace. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Guard it. <laughs> Amen. Guard yeah. your peace. So I know that I know that you got something against me, and uh, because I'm not going to allow myself for you to disturb my peace, foolishness you may say to me, uh, because I know you, I know that spirit's operating in you. I'm not going to take the bait. I say, you call me ugly, call me fat, you know, call me whatever. Thank you. I love you. Yes. <laughs> huh? Yes. And move on. Yes. Now, it's like it's like a five-year-old. A five-year-old can say some stuff. You be like, oh, go ahead, get out of here. Now, look, isn't that like a childish person? Yes, yes, sir. Go, on, man, go on out of here. I know. Oh. You just childish, just rattling your rattle. Yes, yeah. You did. I, I, I'm walking and operating in peace. Uh, you, you. You, you like the devil, you come at me as a roaring lion. Huh? You ain't got no bite, you ain't got no teeth, unless I give it to you. Yes, sir. Uh, unless I allow you to have it, unless I take the bait. Yes, sir. Wow. Governor? And the Lord wants you to see where you are in that. Right, absolutely. He wants you to see. Now, see, you absolutely. can handle that. Absolutely. He'll tell you, well, if you failed it, you failed that. Yep. Mm. It can be done. I've seen unsaved people go through amicable divorces. Unsaved. I've seen unsaved people, unsaved people come together to because they got children, work out their differences because of the children. Unsaved. Yes. Huh? How come we can't do that? We got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> we anointed. We got destination. Yeah. Huh? Supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly. You, you follow me? <laughs> huh? Y'all with me tonight? Ain't nothing like peace, Bishop. Right. Uh, I, I, was, I was working with a young lady. And her, uh, you know, her and her husband, they split up for whatever reason. You know, and uh, she was working with him so that he can be involved with the child's life, right? He had a girlfriend that didn't like her. She went to her one and one and said, "Hey, I know you don't like me, but your but but, but your boyfriend is the father of my child, and we gonna have a we gonna we gonna get along." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? So, so she started picking up her child from school and allowed her to pick up her child from school uh, and, they, and they worked that thing out. Yes. Mom, mm -hmm. peace. Yes. For a common cause. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go
go to heaven. I want to see Jesus. Huh? So, so I'm going to have peace with you. Yes. Huh? Because I can't let that stop me. No, sir. No, sir. Y'all with me? Amen. Hallelujah. We teaching up here tonight. Uh, all right, where we at? Jesus. All right, I got 15 more minutes. All right, let's go back over to Corinthians. Yeah, now go go down. Now read three again. But though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. All right, so we don't fight in a fleshly way. Carnal way, read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh -huh. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. All right, now, how do, how does, or how do strongholds occur within us? Right. We we go ahead. When we when we sin it. Sin, that's it, brother. That's it. Get out of God's will. When we sin, get out of God's will. That's how the enemy starts uh uh setting up strongholds. Gotta stop sinning. <laughs> when we sin. Do evil stuff. That's how the enemy starts setting up strongholds. Yeah. My brother? It's a process of yeah. strong, a stronghold. Yeah. It doesn't start out a stronghold. It, huh? it develops. Right. When you, <laughs> when you let it go and you let it go, it gets stronger and stronger. Sooner or later, it gets to a point where you are not in control. Right. Wow. You read my notes. Because <laughs> that's what happens. The, when you start violating God's laws, the enemy gets a foothold. He gets control of you. He that will let, will let until he's let out of the way. A little leaven. Leaven at the whole lump. The little foxes destroy the vine. Uh, that's how he gets a stronghold over you. You think it's no harm stuff. Yes. Soft porn. Huh? Wow. A white lie. Huh? Stronghold. Get you. Get a foothold. Yeah, I got a vision of when you said foothold, Bishop. It's like he got you by the ankle. Yep. And every time, you know, if, if you don't confess that sin to, to God. See? And repent. He's going he to tug. That's it. Because he, he, got, he, got, he got the ankle. He, so when he tug, and every time you fall subject, the, the, strong, the, the hole gets stronger. That's First, it. Yeah. Man, I don't even know why I'm teaching this Bible study. Y'all got it. <laughs> but that's it. And then it, and then it becomes that's a stronghold when you, you, the longer you let it go. That's how you get out of it. You repent. <laughs> let the blood of Jesus uh, cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And then don't go back. Yes, Repentance is you don't return. You get a change of heart. A change in your mind. You see it as exceeding sinful. And you don't want it no more. Amen. Huh? Y'all with me tonight? Yes, Do you feel? I was going to say that a stronghold is anything that you believe God is unable to break from you. Yes. But once you don't have confidence that God can break it, <laughs> you can't get no help. That's it. That's it. That's the next verse. Read it. I'm, I'm, I don't mean, I, I mean to say it nicely. <laughs> casting, casting down imagination. Uh, casting down imagination. Now, read. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. So, so uh, uh, casting down uh, uh, imagination. Arguments uh, in your mind. The arguments that go in your mind are always against God. Yes. When you're operating in the flesh, the argument that is in your mind and that the enemy brings you is always against God. When he dealt with Eve, huh? 
He didn't hear that mass. It was against God. Yes. Huh? The enemy will always bring you thoughts that are against God and his truth. So you got to be wise. Guard your mind. God will never tell you to do anything evil. Huh? God will never tell you to do anything against your brother or your sister. Amen. Never. never. He will never tell you to act unseemly against your brother or your sister. Never. Never. In any circumstance. Never. Am I right? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. So, so we're looking at those, those strongholds or those arguments. They're, they're human logic. Uh, human logic that the enemy uses. He uses human logic to, to, to get you to, to, to turn around. Why? Let's go to uh, 1 Samuel chapter number 8 and verse number 7. I don't know if we're going to finish this prophecy. Y'all got to give me a whole nother hour. <laughs> Jesus. What'd you say, Bishop? Samuel, first Samuel. What chapter? Oh, thank you. Uh, chapter number eight and verse seven. He uses the lust of your flesh, the lust that's in your eyes, and the pride of life. Amen? And he uses that to bring against arguments in your mind against God. My brother? Bishop, the same way that strongholds develop over a period of time, it takes a period of time to get them released. Yes. There's a process you've got to go through to get that stronghold out of your life. It, don't yes. have, it doesn't happen overnight. Nope. Because right. there are fortified opinions in your mind against God. Yes, sir. Against God and his word. All right, read. And the Lord said unto Samuel. Uh-huh. Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. Uh -huh. For they have not rejected thee, uh -huh. but they have rejected me. Once again, people reject God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. When people reject God and his logic, his wisdom, they get into trouble. When, when those children, that verse that she just read, they wanted, they wanted a king. They wanted to be like everybody else. Huh? Huh? And in trying to be like everybody else, they rejected God. Mm. I can go over then to, to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. We're going we gonna, to we gonna make it. I'm just going to hear you. <laughs> Amen. The heart is deceitful above all. Now, now, now notice about your heart. Your mind is deceitful. Notice how, the, uh, the, the, uh, how he categorized your heart. How deceitful it is. It's deceitful. What? Above all. Above, what does that mean? Above all things. Above all things. Above all things. Your heart is your heart will deceive you. Your human logic will hurt you. Huh? Get you into trouble. Amen. You can't do things your way. You gotta do things God's way. Amen? Am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, my brother? The sad thing about that is we don't even know our hearts. Right. It's deceitful. Who can know it? We don't even know it. Huh? We don't even know it. Put under, I'm just saying, put under the right pressure, I need my hand. Huh? Put under the right purse pressure, I'll eat this brother. Huh? You get hungry enough. Get under starvation. Uh, you do things under pressure that you never thought you would do. Humans have been humans. Right. Over the prison system. Prison. Ooh, Jesus. Right. Yes. Yes. I used to, 
work in the prison system. You used to work in the prison system? No. Oh, and, and you know they got that, what they call that RHU, restricted housing unit. Yes. I used to go there and, and, and the thought that always came to my mind, uh, devoid of humanity. They do stuff down there that's devoid of humanity. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wow, that's why you put them down. Here. Yep. Wickedness. Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wickedness. Mm -hmm. huh? wow. People do stuff because their mind is deceitful and desperately wicked. Think of the stuff you were doing before you came to Christ. <laughs> huh? <That's true. laughs> I, uh, I can't tell y'all my ex-testimony. That's right. Huh? I can give y'all the GP testimony. <laughs> to keep y'all, you know, so y'all stay with me. <laughs> huh? That's right. But God knows. He knows. He knows. Yes, he does. Amen. Yeah, you know. Thank you, Not that's the I'm trying to justify myself. I was gonna say not that I was all that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's that? The heart is deceitful. The heart is deceitful. And but above all things and desperately wicked. Now what what does that word desperately mean? When you hear that word desperate, what what comes to your mind? Without restraint. Without restraint. What comes to my mind is thirsty. Yes. Huh? Thirsty. Want, want, to, want to have an appetite huh? that can't be satisfied. Yes. Insatiable mm -hmm. appetite. Yes, sir. I gotta have it. Yes. Ah, like Nabal. Nabal, he had to have, he had to have, uh, what, what? Yeah. Uh, had to have, what's that? His, yes. Huh? Then, then uh, Jezebel, he want, that king, that king wanted Naboth's uh, garden. Huh? His inheritance. Tried to take it. King Ahab, there he is. They tried to get the Holy Ghost working. <laughs> king Ahab uh, wanted Naboth's inheritance, his, his, his land. Amen? And he started sulking. Being a baby. Uh, then Jezebel said, Man, what's wrong with you? You the king. Huh? We can take it. Huh? Yeah, now watch out for them Jezebel. Well, uh, Jezebel well. spirits. Well. Amen. Take stuff, don't belong to it. Huh? Yep. And she made preparation. Go get it. Got it. Insane. Appetite. Mm, I gotta have it. My mind. Read. Yep. yep. Gotta watch it. <laughs> yep. Dog day. What? What will you do? Uh, left up to yourself. All right, read. Where we at? Chief, what are you gonna make? <laughs> I thought we were. <laughs> but read that last verse, Pastor. Did you finish it? That's really wicked. Yeah. Who can know it? Who can know your heart? All right, we're going to finish this up next week. Lord will. What, what, what the thing is? Okay, good. You know, I hope, I hope we thank God for the Bible study on tonight. And we pray that God is blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.